on the surprise of my little boy. So now trying to get a passport for a child that has recently just been adopted is like a nightmare. Oh my, oh my God, little man, much better you having than much better daddy's having. Go and jump on your bed. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Hope you're all good. It's a Florida pre-travel day. Oh my goodness, honestly, I've been dreaming about saying this for about two years, but literally me and my little boy and Connor are literally packed. We're all packed for once on this channel and we are ready to head to Walt Disney World. Honestly, I'm shaking. I honestly cannot believe I'm saying them words. Anyone that doesn't know or doesn't even know who I am, hello, my name is Danny Dalamo. Nice to meet you. And if you're back watching another video, well, welcome back. But for anyone that doesn't know, me and Connor, around about three years ago, started the adoption process. And it's a super long process, by the way, but we got all the way to the end um, and we got the magic yes in January of this year and we have our little boy and our dream was as soon as he was legally adopted we would go to Disney World as a family and uh, that's where we're off to now oh my god I'm so excited I'm so sorry I'm, I've, we've probably got a headache already but I'm so excited I can't honestly I can't Whew, what's that I need to try and keep the excitement in you're traveling from Manchester Airport Flying with Virgin Atlantic, premium economy, booked our seats and everything. I've even pre-booked meals. That's how organized I am on this trip. And um, we've got all the travel essentials for having a child. I'm so used to just jumping on the plane and just being like winging it. But now we're obviously super organized because we've got a little boy and uh, bless him. So he's currently at school. He has not a Scooby-Doo that he is going to Disney World tomorrow. I must say in mind, I've tried to keep it as much of a secret as humanly possible, but it's super hard when all of the family ask every single day, how many days is it until we go? Even the teachers this morning when I dropped them off at school were like, is it today? And I'm like, yes, it's today. And then bless even one of his friends from school's mum came over and was like, are you going today? And I'm honestly, I'm like, oh, yes! <laughs> Stop asking questions! I'm trying to keep it a secret! But I know everyone is super excited, so... And I'm super excited, so bless him. I don't know how he's going to react, but the plan is... I'm going to let you in on this little plan. The plan is, is... Uh, we're not staying in the hotel tonight, because we literally live 20 minutes away from the, ho uh, the airport, and I just... It's such a waste of money paying for for a hotel especially when they're over 100 quid a night so the plan is is uh con's gonna stay at home because it's eurovision night Ugh. Sorry for you Revision fans, <laughs> but he's staying at home. Me and my little boy are going to go to the airport. We're going to do twilight check-in. And then that is when I'm going to let him know that we're going to Disney World. And I don't really know how he's going to react. He's either going to be not bothered or he's going to be super excited. I feel like it's going to be the latter. I think he's going to be super excited because bless him, he's never had a holiday before. The first holiday he's ever had abroad was recently when we took him to Paris. And um, that was just as we got his passport. Oh my God, let me tell you, it's right. Some people, a lot of people ask, uh, have, would you, have you documented the adoption process? Yes, I actually have documented it. Um, I don't know if I'll ever release it because it's something like personal to us. Um, but for anyone that's interested, trying to get a passport for a child that has recently just been adopted is like a nightmare. I can't begin to tell you. It took us nearly three months to get a passport three months so we waited from january all the way until pretty much four days before we went to disneyland paris and then we got his passport and then i booked to go to disneyland paris like two days later it's pretty intense the adoption process takes forever never mind trying to get a passport <laughs> but anyway we got there in the end we flew off to paris and he absolutely loved it it was his first holiday um and he honestly he absolutely loved it and um obviously we're going to florida tomorrow and Oh, I, honestly, for, for me personally, like, it means so much to me, like, the fact that we've having this opportunity to take them, like, every person's going to say this, every person's going to say this about their kids, uh, you know, every, you know, if you've got kids, you're going to, you're going to say something similar, but I feel like our little boy deserves this so much, I'm not going to go into the whole history, but kids are in adoption for a reason, like, you, you know, you'll, you'll know that, and like, when I say our little boy deserves this magic, he literally deserves this magic. To be honest, we all do. So this trip just means so much to the three of us. It really does. And I know so many um, of our friends and family are going to be following along on this series as well. 
I'm just super excited. I, uh, I I hope you follow along too as well. Cases are pretty much packed. This is Connor's and my little boy's case. Look at that nice luggage. I wonder who that's from, guys. <laughs> and then, because obviously we're traveling with a kid now, things will have to be super organized and Con has been amazing. Do you know what, Con? I love you to bits. He has done all of this. He has pretty much planned the whole 10 hour flight for our little boy. There's gifts in there. There's sweets, little mini games. He has been great. Great. Daddy Connor has just came home after work. Having fun, boys. <laughs> <It's a game. laughs> One. Oh. Get it. <laughs> it was in, that was in. Make sure you get his shins. Get his shins. No. <laughs> in the car, in little man. Are we going to Blackpool? No, we're actually going to go to the airport, aren't we? To drop a case off. We're going to... Uh, so basically, for anyone that doesn't know, this is available for everyone. If you're flying from Manchester Airport, and if you want to, you can use a Virgin Atlantic's Twilight Check, and I'll stick the information here. It's great. You get free parking at the West... Well, it says you get free parking at the West Story Car Park. Let's see if that works. But you get free parking at the West Story Car Park. So we're going to take our bags there. It just means it's easier for the morning for the taxi, because... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the staff at the taxi rank here, they actually know me quite well and they were like, how many cases are you taking? Because we're not going to all fit them into a normal case of the three years. So I said, oh, well, we'll do twilight check-in. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So yes, everyone, it's available for everyone. Economy, premium and uh, upper class. Anyone can use it. So we're going to take the cases because this plane takes us to Blackpool. And that's awesome. Daddy Connor stayed at home. Me and my little boy are here. And we're going. So uh, wish us luck. Let's see, how, let's see if Twilight Check-in works. I tell you. That was the most crazy experience driving into the terminal when there's no one here. There's literally no one here apart from like people just coming back and forth and like people who are departed. It's a very strange experience. There's the Twilight check-in desk. First time doing this and I can't believe how straightforward it is. Come on little man this way. I must say that is check-in complete and that was the easiest check-in I have ever done. Honestly, I highly recommend Twilight Check-In. It's really good. And I've just done the surprise with my little boy. So now he knows exactly where we're going. I, uh, I'll stick the I'll stick the air uh, reel in so you can watch it. Because of how good our little boy's been, he's been so patient today. We're having a McDonald's tea, aren't we? Come on, boys, are you awake? No! Honestly, this is why I like to stay in airports the night before. Come on, the taxi's picking us up in 30 minutes. I've been running around since 4 a.m. this morning. Well, Daddy Connor should be helping you with your pants. Daddy Connor is lying in bed. Oh, guys, does anyone want a 32 year old partner? <laughs> this is not like me, but I haven't even actually packed up all my camera gear. I'm literally packing up the camera gear. We've got, um, luckily, but we get on really well with both sets of our neighbours. Um, so they've said, like, don't worry about the house. Like, if you're rushing out, they're just going to look after the house. Literally, we have, we have, like, the neighbourhood watching our street. It's great. Who's excited for Disney World? Oh, yeah. oh and show everyone, show everyone your watch. This is what we've got and this. And what does this do? This is a... Does this tell everyone? Well, does this tell daddies where you are? It does, doesn't it? That means I know where you are all the time. So, and who takes this that off? This is the real one, the fun people. Well, no, who takes that off your arm? Daddy Connor. Only me and Daddy Connor, no one else, okay? Well, I'm very new to this and it's all one of our first holidays yeah. abroad. Yeah. I am a bit nervous, bless him. Yeah. I'm nervous for him. Yeah? yeah. So I'll get them out. Okay, you just shout, help Daddy, and I'll be there and I'll grab them. No. Okay. Someone help me out and tell me why I'm hoovering 15 minutes before the taxi comes. This is what dad life does to you. Yeah. Oh, your teeth look lovely and bright. Have you brushed them? We've all brushed our teeth, haven't we? Because we've all got a long journey today. Do you want to help me hoover? Yeah. Come on then, are we going to hoover together? Are we going to hoover this house? Come on then, let's hoover. Let's do it. Ride. 
arrived, we're at the airport. We're at Terminal 2. So me and my little boy checked in last night, which you saw with Twilight check-in, but Connor didn't check in. Uh, his case wasn't ready. Well, actually, I say his case, it's my case. <laughs> it was my case that wasn't ready, but his case was. So we'll only have to check in the one luggage, which is good. So it's ideal, to be fair. Just be careful with that case, little man. We don't want any injuries, do we? Especially when we're going on holiday to Disney. So we're flying premium, we go down the premium, which is a nice no queue, which is amazing. Check-in complete, that was super quick. I've always, I, said, I said this to Virgin yesterday, I'm super impressed with Virgin's check-in, you know. I have never waited any longer than five minutes for Virgin, even during the pandemic. They're, they're, they're checking. Compared to some, uh, some other competitors, I just find it super fast, they're great. I'm in the bad books, guys. We've got a Starbucks. Well, that early, we can't check in. <laughs> it's uh, 45 minutes until we can check in. Listen, there's a method in me madness. The reason why we're super early is because we've got our little boy, we're traveling during a busy time, and we should have been staying in an airport hotel last night, but Daddy said no. Why does that mean Because we could have just went back to the hotel and strolled back out. Just set off later. Listen, I, I'm the experienced traveller. I can't believe I've made such a boo-boo. Well, 45 minutes early, we can't go through security. And the flight's delayed, which, uh, yeah, but we'll be fine. Little man, do you like sitting having a drink, waiting? Stop being a pigeon. Stop being a pigeon. Oh, my God. I'm hated in this family. And these are the flight times, so we're literally looking at 13.25 here. Um, for our flight and the earlier Orlando flight is it oh my god you've got Virgin and Aer Lingus literally within five minutes which are, they used to be usually 11 o'clock just what I'm going to say is don't do me and don't show up four and a half hours before your flight oh Wusa security complete do you know it's already hard enough doing security when you're on your own never mind when you've got a little boy with you bless him though he's so good if you watched our Disneyland Paris vlog series uh, he was brilliant in security then and I got a total strip search uh, well, That was pretty much easy this time. They didn't have the normal security though, you know Well, not the normal, you know the, the nice that one where like you don't need to take anything out. It was the old-fashioned one But it was fine. Whoa, I just got a bit of a bit of a sweat on Whoa, I'm burning me calories before we've even left. Little man, have you noticed something different as well? This terminal is a different place. You've not been here before. This is terminal 2. We've got Costa Coffee here We've got WH Smith, make sure you take out a mortgage before you walk in. We've got World Duty Free. Oh, in mo did I say WH Smith? In Motion, I don't know if I even said that, but In Motion's great if you've left anything electronic. Chargers, cables. Uh, there's a better, do, do you want to get something here like? Yeah. Um, oh no, we'll get it later. We'll get it later, we'll get some water in the, uh, in the restaurant, okay? Nice to be in Terminal 2. Blum and beautiful. Oh, they've changed it. Amber Ale House is there now. Oh, and then, yeah, there used to be Wagamamas over there, but it looks like they've got rid of that. Um, Amber Ale House. Oh, right, okay, and that's the Bridgewater Exchange. This is new, the Amber Ale House. I can't remember this being here last time I was here. Thinking for food, little man? Would you like a sausage sandwich? A bacon sandwich? Or some chips? At, at half eight in the morning? Little man? You are? Sausage and chips. I think we should do Carlos. Daddy loves Carlos. But you you and Daddy Connor can pick. Yeah. Gotta wait for Daddy Connor. See Daddy Connor sniffing his nose up at it. It's well it, it, Connor, it's extortionate, but all the airport places are extortionate. Bloody tight bugger. <laughs> he's in the airport and he's saying it's expensive, guys. Of course it's gonna be expensive. Right, we'll have a look at Bridgewater then. You are, oh, you've been here before. I've been here before. It's about 18 quid for breakfast. I got me weird, guys. I'm happy. Connor's not happy. This thing is on here for him. He said it's three pound more expensive. Um, it's just so much nicer in here. It's light and airy. It is lovely. The, the decor is so nice. Our little boy's got a colouring book. He's super happy. The views are incredible. And the best thing, Daddy, is there's a board right next to our heads. Look at that, right next to our heads. I know you can't see it, but that's literally right there. I can't, I can't begin to tell you, in Terminal 1, we struggled so much for this. And our little boy is going to do some colouring. Daddy's looking at the menu. I'm looking at the menu. I'm thinking about being... I'm thinking about getting the oats and raisin granola with coconut yogurt and fresh berries. That looks very nice. Because remember, guys, we are eating on the plane and we're getting, you know... We're, 
We, uh, yeah, yeah, we're eating on the plane. And oh my goodness, our food has arrived. Look at the size of the kids' meal. I know it's a tenner, but little man, is that nice? How nice is that? Is that yummy? It is, isn't it? And look at mine. This looks lovely, doesn't it? Looks very nice. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, let's have a taste test. Taste test, taste test, taste test. Five out of five. Lovely. How was your pancakes? Yeah. Yummy. How was your pancakes, Daddy? My pancakes are oh, right. 10 plus 13. They're alright. Trust us, the only thing Daddy's going to be happy with is 100 quid on there. Oh, they said they can have it for free, then Daddy will smile. Someone tell me why I've got stickers all over me. I've just been... We were in this restaurant, right, and I thought that the book that our little boys got was from this restaurant. So I was literally saying, Jesus Christ, the, the book's amazing. It's got so much in and everything. Um, and obviously I thought it was included, but actually it's from Amazon. If anyone wants any links to any of the stuff that we bought from Amazon, just let me know. Magic Band is on. You can't start any holiday without your Magic Band on. I'm going to show you this, actually, because um, I think this is a... It, honestly, I think it's a lifesaver, actually. So this is my Disney's experience. And I've just realised, actually, that Citizen on our one here. I, uh, I didn't realise Disney were working with Citizen. Maybe it's been here for a while. But a big thing that I like to use is this check-in service. You can do this before you actually get to your hotel. And yes, guys, are you seeing where we're staying tonight? I honestly cannot believe we are staying at the Grand Floridian. Even when I see it now, I'm just like, oh my God, honestly, I can't, I just, I can't, I can't begin to tell you, right, that like when I first signed up to DVC, I, by the way, it's a DVC book and I'm just using points. I am, um, sorry, uh, daddy, daddy and little man need to go to the bathroom. It's a, it's a toilet break. But uh, our little boy likes to play games, don't you? Are oh, you desperate? Go on, then you go. See you in a second. Bless. Yeah, he, uh, he went to the toilet before. I don't need the toilet. Came back, now he needs a toilet. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we are just super excited the fact that we're staying at the Grand Floridian. I am. Um, DVC booking, we're there for five nights. Or oh, was it four nights? Four or five nights, I'm not even, I'm not even 100% sure. We are jumping accommodation this trip and I'll tell you all about it on the flight. Yes, if you use this, then it means that you don't have to go to reception and it's just so much easier. I have started to try and do the check-in, but it keeps saying online, not available. Which makes me a bit nervous. I hope I don't get there and they're like, oh, sorry, we, you're not staying at the Grand Floridian. We've made a mistake. Um, I don't know why it's not working. I've never known it to do this before. Just out from Carlos, the boys are filled, I'm filled, we've had a lovely, lovely, uh, a lovely breakfast actually, it was lovely. But uh, now, oh there's been, there's announcement, order time, WH Smith, does anyone want to come in WH Smith for me, I just want to carry on. Oh, I know what I'm getting. Yes, thank you, Volvic. But it just gets worse, I've made a boo-boo. I've just walked past the travel accessories and I've just realised, Daddy has just realised that I've unfortunately left. Oh travel plug connector thing um, at home. So it looks like, again, I'm gonna have to buy a guy. Never leave your travel accessories. <laughs> oh, cause they're like 12 quid. Oh, I can see something for three quid. Oh no, it says save three pounds. Time to go, go to the gate. Come on then boys, let's go. It actually, we haven't actually been called for the gate yet, but luckily I know where it is. And best thing I will say is just look for the plane before it gets cold because it's literally like a stampede of people especially if you've got little ones because yeah it's um it can be like really tough when you've got like 300 people walking to the plane and everyone's like trying to get past you because they just want to be the first to sit down you know so definitely recommend just look for your plane um you, you'll never get it wrong because especially if you're on this one but daddy wanted to wait and he'll thank me for this little trick shortly. Here is our chariot that is going to take us all the way. I think it's about four and a half thousand mile across that big Great Atlantic Ocean. Here we go, we're getting ready to get on the plane. Are you excited little man? Bless him, he has been super good man. 
so super good yeah we go oh my gosh this is one of the newer planes oh my god i'm so impressed looks lovely the the room as well amazing this is we are flying premium economy i don't even know if i've told you this we are flying premium economy for this flight i'm really super impressed virgin have gifted this to our little boy all kids get them i think under a certain age and um it's full of gifts and goodies and stuff i'll show you this halfway through the flight looks awesome oh my god guys i'm sweating i do apologize if i just look let's zoom out a little bit apologies if i just look like a sweaty mess <laughs> so con sitting two rows down that way there was no uh we couldn't get the seat next uh, but the seat behind us is empty with a window seat so if it stays like that con's gonna move up behind us but uh oh my goodness oh, get that aircon on he i was gonna say get that aircon on easy jet i mean virgin God. so we're gonna have a look at the menu so little man what would you like so after takeoff can i tell you what's on the menu well i've got the menu right here so i'm going to tell you okay so for starter oh we've got a served with soft bread roll and butter mm, yummy no. no okay and then we've got hummus and then for mains we've got breaded chicken oh with light garlic buttered sauce little man wilted greens and crushed new potatoes this menu is amazing no. i think Re virgin honestly no. just keep getting better and better no. but you, i tell you what you're gonna like little man later on about 90 minutes before landing you're gonna have a choice of either a finger sandwich or a finger so basically a, a person's finger in a sandwich it sounds lovely that doesn't it yeah. <laughs> i'm only joking so it's a finger sandwich or sorry guys i don't even know if this is a focus or you can have a dessert do you want a dessert dessert okay high five that sounds good to me high five good boy love you oh we're pulling back little man's just watching the safety video oh that's a two-week plane is that a big tilly plane? Yeah, you want to be safe, so you're listening very carefully, aren't you? Very carefully. I'm super proud of you. Super proud. Honestly, this just feels so super surreal because for anyone, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'll know I have been waiting for this moment for two three years and it's actually here it feels a bit weird like everything has just came into place the weather's stunning the day's just been great our little boys loving it you guys have been so supportive online i am um, i've never had support like i've had over the last like 12 hours it's been un insane so thank you so much i'm really i'm trying to respond to all your messages but um i'm working on it but it feels it just feels so strange but i'm so happy at the same time it's mad just a little bit of an update uh, it looks like check-in might work for us now it's doing face id um start checking everyone cross everything no nope, check-in still not letting us in which is just weird to be honest i've never known it to do this before not the end of the world like but i've just never known it not to let us check in if any of you know in the comments like why this is i've just never known it oh magic kingdom's open until 10 o'clock tonight but could go to magic kingdom i don't think so oh wow oh my god i don't think i've ever seen that before what on earth God, honestly guys oh my god i'm gonna start crying just at that oh my goodness i'm just literally looking out the window that's where me and our little boy and con during last summer when he first came to live with us we would always go out there and walk and we did treasure hunts over there can you remember when we did the treasure hunts that's where we did it just over there and there's that house that daddy would love to buy but it's too expensive that would be my dream house i don't know if you know if you can see it because i've got the zoom lens on but it's my dream house over there whoever owns it if you want to do a uh, a gift <laughs> a lovely gift. <laughs> it looks like a lovely house I've never known what to bounce before. Oh. oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. In a sec. In a sec. Oh, 
you see in the clouds out there. Isn't that awesome? So in a second you're going to hear a beep. And that's going to be the seatbelt sign coming off. So we're around 10,000 feet. One of the things I absolutely love about Virgin is we've literally just taken off and they're already coming around with the drinks and the snacks and oh, some airlines aren't like that so I just, yeah, I, I love it. We're, um, we're just crossing over Ireland. Ooh. Uh, Daddy Connors came over. I think he's feeling left out, bless him. So for any before, I don't know if I've explained this. I don't think I have explained this. Me and our little boy are sitting and premium and cons a couple of seats back just couldn't get two seats together so bless him but uh i think we might alternate through the flight but i think he's going to kind of enjoy having some spare time to himself i mean our little boy are going to spend is that yummy i mean our little boy are going to spend some quality time together aren't we watching he's watching spider-man so far not long into the flight and our little boy's dinner has come already oh my god a jammy dodger as well Oh my goodness! You're so lucky! It is, but hang on. Daddy's just gonna quickly deli it out for you. So I'm gonna pass you it one bit at a time, okay? So, because I know what you're like, you try eating it all. So we're gonna eat our main meal first. The sweets come after, okay? So let's open this up. See what's inside. Here's our little boy's dinner. What's that? <gasps> What's wrong with it, little man? It's just chicken and sweet corn. Oh, it's hot. Okay, I thought that face was because you didn't like the look of it. it. Looks very yummy. And look, I don't know if you can see it. Pinched from Virgin Atlantic. It's well going in the bag. I'm only kidding, Virgin. Well, 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 I know you are running out, so I'll not take it. And the kids' meal came with cheese quiche, and then you've got a chocolate cake. Does that look yummy? You've got to have that, though, little man. Little man. You've got to have that once you've eaten your dinner, though, okay? We've got to eat our dinner, and I want you to eat your carrots, because you're very good at eating carrots. It's the only thing with Virgin, they stick everything down at once, and obviously, if you've got kids yourself, you know exactly what's going to happen. And uh, luckily, our little boy's super good. There was no tantrums there, but, um, yeah, he's, eat he's eating a Dairy Lee Dunker now. That comes with a kid's meal as well. I'm very impressed with a kid's meal. Very impressed. We'll say we're Virgin, and honestly, this is not sponsored by Virgin. I must say, man, if Virgin will sponsor my, some of my trips, I'll happily take it. But... Virgin's food over the last I would say 12 months has so it's so much better than it used to be um, not that it's ever been like bad 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 but I would just say like I would argue that maybe since I don't know April last year I've noticed a huge jump up just in regards to the portion the quality think things just taste a lot more fresher and I've sat in economy and I've sat in premium and I've sat in upper actually now and in all three classes I would say the food economy premium and up our options are just so much better uh, than they used to be so yeah I can't compare them to like other long-haul airlines because the only other long-haul airline I've flown with is TUI but Virgin I'm impressed I'm impressed so much taste so much taste and our little boy is so happy with his he's actually full can you believe it he's full on a plane a little bit later when I say a little bit later it's like we're an hour and 48 minutes from landing so it's a lot later yeah I'm mourning Danny right now but the internet oh my god I can't not recommend it enough does that make sense I wouldn't recommend it basically it has been atrocious this flight they've changed provider they've changed to T-Mobile and I don't think Team Out Mobile have got a single single signal wave bar anywhere past Manchester. It's been shocking this flight. And I wouldn't care. I've always said Virgin's Wi-Fi is incredible. Like you can usually like have an amazing time with Virgin's Wi-Fi, but I've literally struggled. Boys dinners uh well uh, afternoon teas come and that looks so yummy. You've got a scone, you've got a jam, a sandwich. Do you want me to do it all for you? I'm so impressed. Uh, what is that? Let's show us, show us. Uh, no, you've got to have your scone in that first. What do you want? Do you want to have your sandwich or your scone first? You pick. You want your sandwich too, sec. Tell you what, these clotted creams are so good. Yeah, now, do you want me to have it? Do you not want it? Yeah. I think you would like it, you know. But I'll happily have it because it means I can double up. Ooh. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I really like it. And here we go. We're coming into land now. But bless him. Look, he's so happy, man. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to just make some amazing memories this trip. Oh, 
fucking world bless and thank you guys for all following along as well I uh, I hope this series helps you with your trips and and yeah thank you very much in about 30 seconds we're gonna start to see a runway and then we're gonna land on it okay it might be a little bit of a bounce but it's just like a little ride okay he excited oh bless him I, I think I think he's uh, I think he can't believe that he's actually here I think the flight was I think halfway through we were struggling a little bit to be honest but uh, he's done it he's managed it you ready you ready this is it this is it little man what minute until we're in Disney World are you ready I'm gonna tell you I think we're about 30 seconds are you ready I think this is it in Florida. Time here is just fast approaching 25 past 5 in the afternoon. Please keep your seatbelts fastened until the captain doors turn off with faster seatbelt signs. You can now turn off flight mode on your mobile devices. Just please refrain from smoking until you reach a designated smoking area. We're going to return the items we stow for you as soon as we arrive at the terminal. If you're issued one of our infant life jackets at the beginning of the flight, your police have this ready for the collection by the cabin crew. Before you leave us today, just remember to check around your seat area and your seat pocket. Just make sure you get everything with you, especially mobile phones and other small personal items. Whenever you open the overhead lockers now, please do be careful as items made a move during the flight and they could fall out and cause an injury. If you have requested assistance on today's flight, can we ask you just to please just stay in your seat until the majority of customers have left the aircraft and then someone will be able to help you. If you've yet to donate any loose change or foreign currency to our passport to change your people the big collection bag available as you exit the aircraft today. Well, we do hope you enjoyed your time on board with us today. Very soon we'll pass you on to the care of our airport team here in Orlando. We are the first ride of any Disney trip. But I honestly can't believe we're here. It's so exciting, isn't it, little man? Oh, we're on the monorail. That's well, not the monorail, but you know what I mean. It's like a monorail. Oh, it's as best as we're gonna get for now until we actually get on the real monorail later on tonight. Yes, later on tonight, because we're going to Chef Mickey's. Woohoo! So exciting. And this bit never gets old. The American flag. Oh my god, we're here. Disney World. World, we are here we've made it oh my goodness oh it's warm though it's 37 degrees right now it's a bit crazy ancient years yet actually but we are doing car hire for this entire trip so the 17 nights that we're here we've got car hire as well but i'll explain more about that in a sec once we've uh, checked in it was busy at the alamo desk but i can i know the reason why the um they now require you to fill everything in on an ipad and that took that took about 15 minutes oh my god i'm dropping the paperwork everywhere two seconds guys Ooh. um oh it's warm yeah the uh oh little man how are you finding this heat 37 degrees guys 37 degrees it's warm it's, guys 37 degrees the little man's gonna pick our car and uh we're ready to start our Disney World adventure for three weeks. You can pick whatever car you want. Just make sure that it's got a sat-nav in it and make sure that it looks nice. That red one looks nice. Does it have a sat-nav? Oh, oh, it's a Ford Escape. The only thing about the Ford Escapes is I don't believe they have... Oh, they do. It does actually have a sat-nav. Oh, guys, we're in our car. I don't think I've even told you where we're staying. Where are we staying, guys? We are staying at Disney World, but even better, we are staying at the Grand Floridian. And that's where we're gonna drive to now. I'm not gonna waffle on too much because I'll just chat when we get there. So I'll see you in a bit. Guys, we're driving through the Walt Disney World gates. You probably can't see it because the sun is massively in the way, but believe me, it's there. <laughs> Um, our little boy's asleep. He, uh, he is knackered, obviously, but uh, yeah, we always knew that was going to happen. Coming into the Grand Floridian, oh my god, you can actually see the new tower for the Polynesian. Look at it! 
I don't know if you can see it on the camera that well, but it's it's coming on massively. Once that's built, we'll have to come out and stay here for a couple of nights and test out the new uh, resort. Uh, well, the new section of the Polynesian. The Polynesian is one of my favourite Disney World resorts. It's oh, it's such a good resort. It's just so hard to get because they don't have many rooms. Um, so we, we're not staying there at all this trip. I wish we were because I love the Polynesian. I honestly cannot believe I am pulling in to the Grand Floridian. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just doesn't feel real, guys. It just, it really doesn't feel real. Um, oh my God, look at it. Oh, we're in the Grand Floridian. Wow, we're checking in. We've got a very tired little boy up ahead. Very tired. Bless him. Well, uh, kind of see how we get on. You really want to do the monorail, don't you? But I don't know if you can do the monorail. You're super tired, little man. He saw his first lizard. That's a Disney World lizard. Isn't that awesome? And look where we're checking into. We're checking into the Grand Floridian. <gasps> Ooh, there was a big beetle on his arm. I didn't want to say anything. Come on, should we go and see our room, little man? I think Mickey might have let. Oh, little man, look! There's a ride. That's a monorail. Now push down on the handle. Push. Push in. Push forward. Forward. Other way. Put. Do the um. Do 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 the handle again. And then push down on the handle. Push. <gasps> oh my. Goodness. Oh, oh my, oh my God, little man, which bed are you having? And which bed is daddy's having? Um, Go and jump on your bed. Go and jump on it. Woo, this is so big. This is so big. Have you got a big royal bed? I'm going to Chef Mickey's tonight. We, uh, I just went to reception. Our little boy is knackered. Went to reception. They've cancelled it free of charge. Oh, there we go. This is there it is. I can see it. And we're looking for the quick service. We're just going to have food in the room. We'll do a full room tour when we get back. But we're just going to have quick service. Take her back to the room. I think that's definitely our best shout. And this is where we're eating. We'll see what you. Oh my God, little man, do you not even want a burger? Oh, oh, a ham sandwich. Wow. So All this food looks yummy. Gone for the refillable mug as well. We have just got one to share between the three of us, but I think we're going to get another one because, like, I think on paper we were just thought, well, if we just get one, because when me and Con aren't massive drinkers for like pop, and our little boy doesn't drink pop, so we thought, well, we could just fill it with water. But now we're thinking, well, actually, we could get another one just for me and Con, then our little boy could just have his own maybe. Back in the room, um, we've got a couple of things. So we've got some adult chicken oh my god there um, well there's a burger in there but daddy but i think it's like fell out of the bun and then there's a cheese burger oh no no there's a cheese sandwich in there you know after that we knew what we ordered and then there is an impossible burger in there okay, our little boy's away to sleep um so i'll finish this vlog tomorrow see you in the morning good morning from the grand floridian and from a very humid Walt Disney World. This is the view from our balcony. Oh my goodness. You can see the Polynesian there. That's Grand Floridian. Uh, that's the wedding pavilion over there. If you're very lucky enough to get married here, that's where you get married. Ohana, loads of stuff there. I actually stayed around about there in 2022. Lovely hotel, a Polynesian. Uh, you can actually see the new tower there that they're building. I think I showed that yesterday. And the Magic Kingdom is just around that corner. But yeah, this, was, this has been our view. I've been sitting there responding to comments and that this morning. And uh, yeah, ooh. And that's uh, actually, that's Ticket and Transportation Centre over there. This is a brilliant view. I'm loving being at, at oh God, I can't believe I'm at the Grand Floridian. Every time I say it, I feel like it's just not real. It's, it's lovely. Okay, I'm going to show you a quick room tour of a resort studio here at Grand Floridian. Now, I'm going to call this a, a lived-in resort studio because we are, you know, usually I'll do, a, I'll do a tour and we wouldn't have actually stayed like we, we wouldn't be here but yeah this is a lived in resort tour all right so we've got our little boy's bed this is his bed he had a very nice sleep last night didn't you little man bless him we uh, we had uh, we were meant to be obviously as you know we were meant to be at um <laughs> hi this is one of these new like um 
I don't know, like it's like a an Alexa sort of thing. Sorry if I've just said the word. I hope all your Alexas don't go crazy. But you basically say, hi, Mickey, and then you can talk to it. You can like plan things through it and it reads stories and stuff. It's actually really good for kids. Um, this is mine and Daddy Connor's bed. Uh, plenty of storage. I'm not going to go through every... Are you playing hide and seek? I'm not going to go through every drawer, but you can see there's loads of storage in here. Do you know what I love more about this room, to be honest, is the hidden details. Like, <laughs> what are you playing? Yeah. Bless them, they're just waiting for me. The, uh, just like all the hidden details and like, look at the paint. I can't, I'm surprised you haven't been looking at this artwork thinking that you want to buy it. We're going to go to the bathroom. Now I'm going to confirm again that this is a lived in bathroom. So don't judge. So we've got his and her sinks. We've got the Disney's Resorts bath soaps. And then we've got toilet. I'm not going to show you the toilet because you know what a toilet looks like. But we've got the lovely shower. Oh my goodness, this shower is a good shower. And then you've got your uh, body washes, uh, shampoos, conditioners. For years and years and years, I used to always bring my own toiletries to Disney. And to be honest, I still do. But if you come to Florida and you're panicking that you haven't brought your own toiletries, um, all the way from value, all the way up to all the way up to deluxe, you get um, immunities in your room. You get shower gel, soaps, and things. It's not like you know your normal hotels in the UK or wherever you're staying. You get the full immunities and. Honestly, they're really, really good. Okay, guys, on that note, we're going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I could go on a whole story of why this vlog and this last 24 hours mean so much to me. Um, but if you've been watching for a while, you'll know why it means so much. And if you're just new here, you've watched the video, you, you'll totally get it. Um, but yeah, make sure you come back for the next video because we're going to hurt me, sorry. We're going to be heading in to Magic Kingdom. So make sure you come back for the next video. Um, and if you've liked this video, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world. And it means that other people who like this type of content gets to see it. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, uh, please consider subscribing it would mean the world and if you want to go a little bit further you have two options you can either join youtube where you get access to early vlogs and stuff you just click join i believe which is on the bottom of this video all the details will be linked below or you can uh, join on patreon but um anyway guys thank you so much for watching it just means the world every single person who's messaged me in the last 24 hours wishing us well and stuff oh, honestly i don't i don't have the capability or the right vocabulary to explain like uh, to to get the words across to just to explain to you of how much it means like you, you just have no idea so thank you so much uh, boys are you ready for magic kingdom are we going to magic kingdom guys i'll see you in the next video come on then boys let's go see you in the next video guys bye bye bye